What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here. It is 8.33 in the morning and it is August 2nd. Woo! We are finally all caught up on videos. Damn. So, my video finally uploaded yesterday. It took like eight to nine hours. It was ridiculous. But, um, new thing I've been doing uh, is drinking a glass of water in the morning. I always read how it's like the most important thing we should be doing in the morning is drinking a glass of water because when we sleep, we're so dehydrated. So, um, before I drink my coffee lately, I've been drinking a cup of water. So, cheers. So, I just got to the gym, uh, did a bunch of emails this morning. Today is a leg day, so uh, that'll be fun and exhausting, I'm sure. And then, actually, um, after this, I'm going to yoga with Jenny Lee. She's been trying to get me to go to yoga, and I've, I've gone a couple of times, just like periodically done yoga. The, the place that she goes has a free week, so she really wants me to go with her. So I'm going with her today and tomorrow. So today is like a regular flow yoga, and tomorrow is like an athletic uh um like restorative yoga so that should be more low-key tomorrow so i'm not gonna go too ham in there um but i i am excited because this weekend i'm going to gender odyssey and now that the videos are all caught up finally i know i know it's been a while but now that we're all caught up like today's the second and this is gonna post tomorrow on the third so i'm gonna be at gender odyssey in seattle this weekend so if you're in seattle or if you're in the area and you could drive up or down or sideways uh get there i'll be there friday and saturday uh gonna have a bunch of other people there it'll be really fun going with rob um malcolm ftm traveler will be there uh ryan sounds is gonna be there uh gina rosario is gonna be there so uh, a couple of people that will be really fun to hang out with again and uh you know talk to and whatever chill um so i'll be taking you guys all with me but until then, I'm kind of prepping. So today, I was answering emails, now I'm going to the gym, then I'm doing yoga, um, which I normally wouldn't do like yoga and the gym, but um, this is kind of like a special, like, I, you know, I'm leaving, so I just wanna get a lot of movement in my body because I'm gonna be standing a lot at Gender Odyssey and sitting in the car to get there. It's like a four-ish plus hour drive, so, uh, just trying to get some movement going today and tomorrow before we leave on Thursday. So if you're in the area, you should come because it will be really fun. Now, uh, to my knowledge, it's free to like walk around, but to actually get into the events, you have to be registered. So you can go to genderodyssey.org and you can register. Um, they also have like a family track, uh, Gender Odyssey Family, and I, th I want to say they even have a professional track, but don't quote me on that. I think maybe they're. Their professional track might be like the family track so but that's really cool because they have like a cute little um little march every single day everyone gets all the uh the youth like get dressed up and they march through and it's really cute and fun and i love to to cheer them on let's get this done repping my athlete alley by the way or athlete ally technically not alley whoops got my smoothie it's just before two and I gotta get to work I'm supposed to uh, talk to my dad on FaceTime tonight at like 4 30 so I'm gonna work a little bit before talk to him for like an hour and then work again after just putting together orders I printed out some orders uh, from the sale which went awesome but I have to put all those things together and mail them out and then um, I will be also picking what I want to have at gender odyssey my nose looks super red in this camera it's not that red i swear um 
And then, uh, I have to pick out stuff for Gender Odyssey. Blah. Um, no, no, I just have to actually, like, think about it and put some thought into that. Um, otherwise, I'm excited to show you guys my glasses, my new glasses, but I don't want to show them until, like, I feel, like, fresh and clean, so I'm gonna wait until I shower and get all dolled up, right? Um, well, not really, but, you know, put some, like, other clothes on besides, like, gym clothes and, like, my hat or whatever. I was just going over some of the .5cc stuff, and we have these, every time someone donates a binder, you receive one of these little things, and it just says, you know, enjoy your new binder, and we'll focus, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it just says like what to do, what not to do, you know, like who who's our sponsor, GC to B, shout out to them. It has a really old number on it. It says, Point Five CC has donated over 750 free chest binders to trans people in need. But this is actually a lie, <laughs> and I have so many of these that say 750 because now it's like up to like 825. So I don't know. I, I like wrote over it, but I feel like it looks lame. Like I feel like it looks corny. So I might just invest in some stickers. Um, to kind of throw right over. And I tried it in the red too, but I just, it didn't, you can't read it. It's gonna have to, I don't want to buy all new of these. Um, I'd rather just like buy stickers and print out the number, 825 or something. So, I don't know. But as of right now, I'm just throwing these in there. So, I just finished uh, packing some stuff up and I'm going to hop in the shower. But I wanted to kind of do like a before and after of the glasses. So, this is kind of what they come in. They just come in a regular old packaging. Um, it does take a little bit of time to get here. Like it does take like three solid weeks. Um, but so comes in this packaging. Open it up. I don't know why it's not auto focusing. There we go. All right. Boom. That took forever. So it's called uh, Fermu. Okay. Funny kind of name. But, uh, so it comes in this packaging, and then you get this guy, and so this is what the glasses will come as. I guess I should open it the other way, make it look. So they do give you this kind of, like, little glasses, uh, thing to kind of fix your glasses with, you know, it's, if you're familiar with glasses, you know that sometimes they have to be adjusted and stuff. So, this is how they come. This is the pair that I picked out. They're kind of this like ovally, kind of not circular, but not totally square. And it has kind of this uh, like leopardish brown and black. And then this is all black. So kind of gives the illusion that the top is kind of black and then it gets speckled down below, but it is actually all the way around like that. So they're really cool. I am, oh, let's focus here. Woo! Okay, so I'm really excited. I think they're awesome. Um, just a little comparison, like these were my old ones. These are my, the new ones, right? And then these are my old ones. So we'll kind of do a little comparison. After I'm uh, all dressed, I'll definitely, I'll put them on and show you what they look like. I, I personally love them. I might wear them the rest of the day. I'm not sure, we're gonna find out. All right, all showered, dressed. Um, I'm going to take my contacts out. And first, I'm gonna show you the old pair. Then I'm gonna show you the new pair because, yeah, this pair is pretty dated. I got these like four years ago now, something like that. Maybe, oh man, maybe even more now, honestly. <laughs> Here, let's go into this lighting. So this is my old pair. This is my old pair. Whoa, super bright. All right, so this is my old pair. Um, I didn't, you know, they're just like out of style now, honestly. Uh, I feel like, you know, this was like an old style that's not really popular anymore. That like old like dashboard confessional look. And um, I have some pretty intense uh, 
vision. <laughs> uh, so my prescription is really high. Um, so for my contacts, I'm like a negative 8.5. But for my glasses, I don't even know what they are. But as you can tell, like they make my eyes look very small. Um, they kind of make my eyes look real small. So let me grab the other pair. So this is my new pair. Um, it doesn't make my eyes look as small, I think, because the lens is big, but you can even see, like, the lens is so thick. See how it comes over? Like, that's how thick. That's usually why I have the biggest issue with glasses. So for someone like me who has, like, pretty intense eye vision stuff, um, it's kind of hard, you know what I mean? It's kind of hard to find glasses that you actually like because they make your eyes look weird and just like, you know, uh, like sometimes the lens will make your eyes look really big or sometimes it'll make the eyes look really small. So I think that because this lens is bigger, I think it kind of like makes an addition to my eyes. Like it makes them not look not as small. So I like these. What do you guys think? Did you think these looked better on me? So here, I'll do it again. These? Mm. Personally, I like nothing, but I can't even see the screen right now. <laughs> and then these guys. I mean, you know, they're not, these aren't bad. Don't get me wrong. They're not bad. I just, uh, the style is just not, I don't know. I think these look cooler. Do I look nerdy? Are nerds cool now? I think they're kind of cool now. Like, I think it's cool to be smart. Like, I think when you're a kid, uh, it's not so cool to be smart. smart. Uh, but then, like, when you get older, you're, like, seen as, like, intellectual. So, even if I, I'm not as smart as I, as you may think I am, I might appear to be smart. 